Good afternoon. I am Dr. P. Usharani, Professor Triple E Department, RMD Engineering College. I am going to brief about the topic of self-controlled synchronous motor drive, employee load commutated inverter. This is the circuit diagram shows self-controlled synchronous motor drive, employing load commutated inverter. Generally, speed of the machine is NS120 FBP. Here, poles is uh, we can't change whether it is 4 pole or 6 pole. Only if you want to control the speed, you have to vary your frequency. For that only, we are going for two-stage converter. Here, one is AC to DC, we are using source-side converter. Other one, we are connected in the load side, which is named as load-side converter. So, if you take care of source-side converter, which is connected to three-phase AC supply, through the inductor LD, we are again given to the load side converter, which is connected to the synchronous motor as a load here. If you consider source side converter will act as rectifier means the firing angle of between 0 to 90 degree of the thyristors. So, the conducting thyristors are turned off by line voltages itself. That is the line commutator converter. So, it will act as rectifier. So, if this converter acts as rectifier means you will be getting the positive output voltage plus VDS and a positive value of current ID. That time, Power flows from three phase AC source to the load. So, power flows from source side converter to synchronous motor. That is motoring operation. Okay, motoring operation. So, if you consider it has acted as rectifier means. The other converter, that is load side converter, will be acted as inverter. That means from 90 to 180 degree firing angle, the load side converter will be acted as inverter. So, that time only you are transferring power flows from AC source to synchronous motor. You are saying motoring operation. Similarly, suppose load side converter will be acting as rectifier means, that is the firing angle of the thyristors are from 0 to 90 degree means it act as a rectifier that time your source side converter will act as a inverter that means the firing angle is between 90 to 180 degree so in this manner uh, it will act as a, now the power flows from synchronous motor that is load to ac source so this is named as braking operation Okay, that is the power flows from load. Here load is synchronous motor to the AC source. So we are named that as braking operation. And then if you consider the why we are named as load commutator inverter here as the load side converter, the conducting thyristors are turned off or the commutation is done by the induced voltage of synchronous motor itself. When the synchronous motor operated at leading power factor, the conducting thyristors are turned off. That is, commutation is done by the induced voltages of the synchronous motor itself. So, that is the name we are saying load commutator inverter. That is, the condition here is when the synchronous motor operates at a leading power factor, the motor induced voltage is sufficient to turn off the conducting thyristors in the load side. So, the name is load commutated inverter. Okay. So, the torque depends on the value of VDS and VDL. Suppose it will act as inverter means the source side converter, you will be getting positive value of ID and the negative value of minus VDS. So, the torque depends on the value of the difference between VDS and VDL. The inductor LD to reduce the ripple content of the current. The speed can be changed 
by control of the line side converter firing angles okay so we are saying the two names of this one as a load commutated inverter i have explained when the synchronous motor operates at a leading power factor we are saying the induced voltages of the motor is sufficient to turn off the conducting thyristors in the load commutated converter okay so second one we are saying which is commutator less dc motor why we are saying commutator less dc motor here as if you consider this uh, this will act as rectifier means you will be getting dc source so this load side converter when acted as inverter it acts as a uh, load side converter acted as a dc that is a commutator and the synchronous motor if you take both will be acted as a dc machine so here we are saying commutator less dc motor so that time even you can say this is csi csi input as current source inverter so only current source inverter is forced commutation is required here uh, we don't want uh, forced commutation okay that's the major advantage so two points we have to say one as load commutator inverter other one commutator less dc motor which is a combined load side converter when acted as inverter as well as the synchronous motor okay that's the name we are saying here we should keep the beta l value that is commutation lead angle with an angle of 180 minus alpha l so you have to reduce beta l that's why uh, we have high in power factor or we can reduce the converter rating that's the advantage of by keeping commutation lead angle be a minimum value okay so the advantages of uh, load commutation it does not require commutation circuits the frequency of operation can be higher and it can operate at power levels beyond the capability of forced commutation so this is better okay thank you